TMC with combined arms. Uh, here to do a review on the Echo One AR57. Uh, this is a great gun. Uh, Echo One sent it out for us to try out. So we're going to give you a little rundown on it and uh, see what you think on it. Uh, we'll also get out and we'll do a little accuracy test on it here in a little bit. So first impressions of the gun is kind of a unique build uh, since you have the 5.7 magazine on top and you also have an M4 magwell here. So the whole point of that concept is your upper is for shooting the 5.7 millimeter round uh, and your magwell here is going to become your ejection port. So it's pretty unique. Uh, I like the look of it. Um, it is all metal except obviously for your pistol grip here. The mag is not metal and your crane stock here is plastic as well. So you have this nice flip up sights on it. Uh, these come with it. They do uh, have your day and your low light sight on there and you can adjust as you can see here for left to right. You got a nice stiff turn to it. Clicks uh, for each notch you can set it to. And you got a nice little push release to put them down which is really nice. Uh, they are metal so really durable. Uh, you got rails on the sides and bottom here. These are all metal, all part of this upper receiver, which is all one piece. Uh, you do have rails on the top here and on the front for your sights or for any kind of optics you want to put on. I've seen other videos, people putting larger scopes and things like that on there. So just play around with it, see what you like. Uh, you have some nice trays here on the uh, lower and upper, you can see there. They did a really nice job getting those in there. They're slightly etched and they have paint to them. Your selector switch is on the left. And you get a nice stiff click on that. Unlike some guns, uh, it's a little loose so you can bump it. Especially for us lefties who go to shoot and move your finger or something while you're shooting. Next thing you know, your gun's in between semi and auto or semi and safe and you're not shooting when you need to. So, that's a nice feature. I really, really like the stiff selector switch on there. You also have a really unique trigger guard here, as you can see. Uh, you know, not the standard, just flat piece going across. And on your uh, pistol grip here, it is larger. So, if you got really small hands, it might be a little uncomfortable, but you can always switch that out. I, I personally like the grip on that. You get nice, solid uh, weld to it there with the gun and it sits really well in the hand. Uh, your barrel is uh, is metal. It comes with the orange flash hider obviously. So make sure you keep that on there. A lot of times Echo One will put your warranty out a little further if you do that as well. Over here on the other side of the gun you have your bolt catch. As you can see it does not show your hop up. Uh, your hop up is actually located in the top here. and We'll just pop the mag off and you can see the hop up adjustments right in here is uh, they got a mad bull bucking in there so you can set this guy and forget it and I have not set it yet and uh, I'm probably not going to depending on how it shoots so we'll get out and show you that in a little while you do have a brass air nozzle and a uh, o-ring inside that as well and down here in the bottom I'll, I'll link you to Brian Holt uh, over at Echo One he does a really nice takedown of this shows you all the internals uh, for everything inside. They did a lot of uh, really nice upgraded parts right out of the box in this thing. Uh, your pistons already got metal teeth on it and a couple other things added in there which make this really nice uh, internal wise. They do advertise this for about 240 bucks and uh, I think the advertised FPS was like 405 with point twos. So unfortunately I don't have a working chrono right now, i got to get a new one ordered. But like I said, we'll, we'll do the accuracy test and when we do that, that will be out to about 110 feet. That's, uh, tip, that's what we measured out uh, for our test range. Alright, so the back here we do have a crane stock. It is obviously adjustable as are most. As you can see, it clicks right in there. And your butt stock here is where your battery goes which this comes off really easy compared to a lot of the others with the plastic tabs which kinda like that. Some of the other ones will really 
really kill your fingers getting them off. And then you got this little guy you got to pull out. And then all your wiring and your battery go right in here. It's got the small Tamiya plug to it. And you do have a fuse down here in your buffer tube. I'll see if I can pull that out a little bit for you to take a look at. This battery disconnected there. So you got a 9.6 volt battery that comes with it. Uh, you can always upgrade to a different uh, different battery or if you rear wire or something like that or even try a stick lipo you can always fit that in the crane stock. So I don't want to pull too much on the wiring here and uh, undo anything but there's your fuse right in there and you can always get a new one at any local auto parts store. So nice nice upgrade there on the uh, the rear wiring I like that compared to a lot of guns with the front wiring or having to use a PEQ box. Uh, if you do rear wire this uh, down into the mag well uh, you can always hollow out your M4 mags and stick your battery in there or just carry a spare battery. Like I was saying earlier it would just be the ejection port for the real weapon but since obviously it's airsoft you don't have anything coming out of there um, you can pretty much put whatever you want in a mag if you uh, just hollow it out or even carry a mag for a friend of yours. It does catch in there and the mag release does actually work. So it will stay in there and it's not going uh, not going to hurt anything. Overall this uh, the gun, I uh, really like it. Things uh, are really nice. You can check it out at echo1usashop.com. I'll have the link posted down in the description for you. Uh, like I said, it's going for about 240 bucks right now. And uh, there's a few discount codes. If you go check out Brian Holt's video on the teardown, there's one at the end of that for you. Um, other things that are I do like about this, it does come with two mags. Uh, they are 68 round mid cap mags, which I'm a big fan of mid caps anyways. It keeps you from sitting out there on auto, just spraying and not even trying to aim. So overall, nice on that. You can buy high caps, 300 round ones at Echo One Shot. So go check that out and uh, let's head out and we'll go do a little shooting test on this guy. Alright, so as you can see with the uh, accuracy test of the Echo 157, we had a really nice grouping right in this area. Uh, I was not using a stand, we had a slight uh, crosswind uh, from right to left, uh, which wasn't really pushing the rounds too much. Uh, this was using 0.25 Echo 1 BBs, which uh, are pretty good rounds to use, and also highly recommended for use in your Echo 1. So make sure you check those out. Um, but as you can see, I had a couple of drop ones here as I was just uh, getting it going. Uh, you can see where auto here was, it was pulling up a little to the right. It was also sitting a little bit higher than the target, so aiming down on it, which we can kind of account for in this re uh, part of the target here. So overall, really good shooting test. Uh, you're definitely going to hit somebody with a grouping like that right out of the box. Uh, zero hop up adjustments which uh, I always recommend sighting in but this was right where the sights were in the box and right where the hop up was coming out so go check it out and uh, we'll head back in and uh, finish this thing up. Alright guys so we just got done with the shooting test uh, as you saw uh, this thing has a really nice grouping. I use .25 Echo 1 BBs. So they recommend uh, obviously only using Echo 1 BBs. So pick some up when you pick one of these guys up. Uh, had a really nice grouping in semi and auto. So you're definitely going to hit your target. Uh, even with using the mid caps, you don't need to spray and pray with this guy. It's got a really, really nice grouping with it. 
And uh, I'm really not the best shot. I wasn't using a gun stand just because it's really muddy out. Didn't feel like laying in the mud today, so just a freehand shooting position. So I had a little wobble and had a little breeze out there pushing across the uh, the field out there. But uh, overall, shoots really, really well. Sounds like it packs a great punch, and uh, definitely recommend you picking one of these guys up. It's a really unique piece. Don't see uh, something this unique out in the field. Um, I don't really have too many cons on this. The only thing I, I didn't like was you do have a little wobble here in the upper. Uh, if you're a right-handed shooter, you may not notice that as much. Uh, as a left hand, I kind of seem to tweak it a little bit over to the left. Uh, it looks like it's just the design of the, the upper. So it's not going to affect your performance or anything like that. And uh, pretty smooth mag changes after practice in a little while, which are nice. Even though you do, you know, I'm used to M4, so I kind of am used to doing that vice coming up and popping this thing off. So, that was probably my only con. Uh, maybe even the wiring in the back is a little stiff, so kind of hard to get back in the crane stock. But you, you can always swap that out for, you know, different wiring. Or just needs to break in a little bit. Uh, I haven't really used this. You know, it's pretty much the first time I've gone out and used it. So, can't really beat that. So, overall, uh, great, great gun. Definitely recommend this. Uh, go check it out. Uh, like I said before, Echo One Shop. Uh, put the link down on the bottom. Also linked uh, Brian Holt's teardown video so you can see all the great internal work they did on these. Put it out to you. And uh, can't really beat what they've done with it, especially for 240. There's a lot of other guns that are way more expensive that have a lot less work in there. And don't really perform as well as I thought this one did today. So make sure you guys subscribe up here, check us out on Facebook, um, all that good stuff, and we'll see you out on the field.